Hey guys, uh, this video is uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, uh, milling hacks. So my hacks is 417 one inch and 417 minus 10,000. Um, if you look from this point across, it's gonna be one inch and 634 divided by two. That's going to be 817. So 817 is going to be from center to this section, right? Um, and also, they gave me the start of the, the shoulder, which is uh, 1 inch and 420 minus 20,000. Now, this number, I'll always keep it at the minimum. And that 1, 6, uh, one, 1 inch and 634 once you machine it will give you the sharp edges i actually go a little bit lower than that and i'll show you why so this is my hex when you go a little bit lower what happens it leaves you a little bit of a radius because technically there's no material here to remove so the end mill goes across and there's no more uh, like i said there's no more uh, material to cut and it'll give you like this nice kind of rounded corners. So go like about 15 to 20,000 below. And same thing as this edge, as you see, this is the taper. I went, I always go a little bit lower. So that edge has still about 5,000 and whatnot room. It always looks much better. My depth of, of this, um, of the hex is about 630. Um, so kind of let's get into the program itself I apologize for now you I'm using my headphones so this was the first site uh, the material is uh, two inches and, and a quarter so quickly facing as you see uh, I'm using 80 uh, rougher facing and rougher OD so number one, number two, number three, and number four. So roughing, roughing, finish, and finish. So facing from 235, OD turning from 225, and as you see the taper, instead of going one inch and 420, I'm going one inch at 400. So that minimum, and I throw a little bit radius, 1615, it's gonna be my final. Uh, where for the drawing it should be 1634 and the Z I just press the uh, question mark I put in a 60 angle and I uh, use a calculate option and that calculates your Z uh, for you then with that 1615 value I'm going 600,000 deep okay so now bar N all I'm doing here is uh, going a little bit higher than the depth of the the uh, thread uh, going 990 uh, 130 deep and it's just a regular 45 degree chamfer now I'm doing this in two left lane passes finishing passes so as you see it's only a finisher and finisher so no roughing using X and C uh, these I don't care for because like I said it's it's these are finishing passes same thing everything open zero zero my end mill is seven uh, three quarters uh, approaches are automatically uh, assigned approach is gonna be uh, G01 width of cut you know same thing doesn't matter what matters is technically speeds and feet, so I'm running it uh, 216 with 3000 feet rate. This is where you're gonna put your how deep you go in, so I'm going 630 and 860. Um, this is uh, what do you call it? Uh, this is my first, um, so remember 817 is my final, right? So 817 is my final. So I've added um, about 40, 45,000 um, extra stock for the first pass so it, so it doesn't take too much material at a one time. And like I said, so this is 
pretty much this one is copy of this one except this one's got that final value and add, I added, like I said I added a little bit of this one so it, it does it on two passes because on a one pass it was just uh, too much vibration the finish wasn't coming out that nice um, so as you see technically 860 is gonna be that uh, that radius on X and then everything is zeros minus 60 minus 120 minus 180 minus 240 minus 300 and zero this is gonna do everything the same on your R and your C uh, the only thing that only values are changing these are final values uh, so this is how you do your hex let me see Alright guys, thank you for watching and see you next video.